All right, let's try again. Um, what up, guys? This is Frankie here, and if the Wi-Fi is cooperating, um, I don't think that's the right word, but whatever. Uh, this is my live reaction to the 2019 Baseball Hall of Fame uh, election um, announcement. As um, coming up in just a few minutes, we will have um, a new members into baseball's most exclusive club. Uh, we are supposed to get at least four members as of this moment, I believe. So um, first of all, tell me in the comments if this is working. So right now, again, we have four people as of this moment who look like they're going to be in. Those people are Mariano Rivera, who might get 100%. And as I said, Mariano Rivera is my all-time favorite um, New York Yankee. Um, I, I adore him. Um, um, I picked uh, uh, Duke. Uh, it's finally working. Okay, let's see if this. Let's see if this stays up. Okay, so the Titanic. I have. All right, we're, you know, maybe it's still sinking, but you know, maybe we'll be able to make something out of this. So, Mariano Rivera, the greatest closer in the history of baseball. Uh, Six hundred saves. Um, you know, thirteen-time All Star, five-time World Series champion, World Series MVP, ALCS MVP, five-time Relief Man of the Year, three-time Saves Leader. He is. I mean, he's the. He's the. He's the goat. He is clearly the best ever at his position. Uh, and that's something that nobody else in this, you know, we're, I mean, is Messina the best pitcher of all time? Is Halliday the best pitcher of all time? No, but Mariano Rivera, you can honestly say, is the best closer of all time. And so to have um, to have something like that, to have something like that attached to your legacy, having fun camping, <laughs> uh, yes, I'm having, having a great time. So, um Regardless, yeah, Mariano right now is uh, of the fifty-six percent of the votes that are, are public. Uh, Mariano has gotten a hundred percent of those votes, so it could be very possible that uh, coming up, Mariano will be a Hall of Famer. Uh, not excuse me, not a Hall of Famer, not just a Hall of Famer, a one hundred percent Hall of Famer, which has never happened. Ken Griffey Jr. got, I think, the highest percentage of votes. He got like ninety-nine point like five percent. Like three, two or three voters said no. Um, that could happen this year, and I wouldn't mind it. Mariano, again, is the greatest of all time in his position. Um, I mean, I wish that there were other players that I thought should have gotten 100%, but it would be great if someone who, again, who was clearly the best at his position and was so great for so long would be able to get that exclusive 100%, which, again, no one has ever had before. So Mariano is going to get in uh, most definitely. Uh, Roy Halladay, the late Roy Halladay is – Looks like he's going to get in as well. He is right now about 92, 93% of the vote. A sad story what happened to him. Of course, he passed away about a year and a half, a year ago when his plane crashed into the Gulf of Mexico. Um, an absolutely, an absolute stud pitcher. It was one of the best in his game. Uh, was, was the, was, was always a top pitcher whenever he played uh, in his time. He was an eight time all-star, two time Cy Young winner, two time uh, wins leader. And pitched a perfect game and a no hitter in the same year. One of that no hitter was in the postseason, which only he and Don Larson have ever done. He's two hundred and three wins, uh, three point three ERA, twenty one hundred strikeouts. Such a dominant, dominant pitcher. And um, a Bill will get it right, referee. <laughs> um, Pirates should be decent. Yeah, we'll see about that. We'll see with Pittsburgh. But um, how would I again? A, tr a truly dominant pitcher, top of his game. I'm so happy for him that. He's going to get in. I'm sad that it's sad that, you know, he won't be able there to see it, but he will deserve this first ballot, a hall of fame status. Then we have Edgar Martinez and my gosh, if there's somebody who, I mean, it's about darn time. I don't care that he was a DH. I don't care that he only played half the time. Edgar Martinez was one of the most feared hitters in all of baseball. Um, you know, Mariano Rivera, Randy Johnson, Pedro Martinez, three of the greatest, um, Pitchers of our time, they've all said the same thing. Red Sox fans for life, Refgate 2018. Yeah, that was that was bad. Red Sox fans for life, congrats, Matthew. Um, the three of the greatest um, pitchers of our time have all said the toughest hitter they ever faced was Edgar Martinez. A vaunted, vaunted hitter. Seven-time All-Star, five-time Silver Slugger, two-time batting champion, and RBI leader. I know he didn't play he didn't play in the field, but you know what? He, 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 at least he didn't embarrass himself in the field, maybe. It's fine. You know, he has 5,000 plate appearances, got a 300 batting average. I don't care that he only played the, that he didn't play the field. He was dominant in what he did 300 home runs, 2,200 hits. And it's, this is his final year on the ballot, and he darn deserves it. And I'm so happy for him that he's going to get 
in all likelihood he's going to get on here. Uh, and then we have the final one who looks like he's going to get in is Mike Mussina. Uh, Mike Mussina, a, a Yankee fan, somebody else who I really loved and really respected over the years. And um, Mussina had a – looking for it here. He was he had 270 wins. He had a 3.6 CRA, um, pitched for 17 years. He was a five-time All-Star, seven-time Gold Glove um, recipient. Spent his entire career in the AL East, won at least 11 games in 17 consecutive seasons. Um, a great pitcher, the Moose. And he was great with the Yankees those eight years. I mean, they never won a world title. He almost had a perfect game with the Yankees. Randy ate my cake. I will fill the buildings of puppies who are rude individuals. Wow, that's pretty mean. So um, I, I I love Mussina. Did you watch the Pats game? Of course. And uh, congrats to the Pats. That was great. Um, they deserved it. But um, Mussina, a great, great pitcher. Um, all throughout his time. And yeah, almost had a perfect game. Almost had a couple perfect games, but he was able to get it done. Um, regardless of that picture, perfect game or not, great picture. And I'm happy that he's going to get in, in what is this is like fifth or sixth year. Um, this was his fourth, his fourth year was 2017. Uh, yeah, this is his sixth year. And, uh, yeah, he's probably going to get in and I'm happy for him if he does. Uh, he was inducted in the Baltimore Orioles hall of fame a couple years ago. So good to see him there. Um, Refs helping the Patriots once again. They did, 100%. Um, so, but, hey, that's sports. Um, so, we have that. We have those are the four guys who are all but likely to be in. And then we have the guys who, right now, we um, we, we wonder about, are they going to – they're not going to get in now. Um, but, you know, next year or the year after, they're probably going to get in. There are three – there are – again, this is all from the Baseball Hall of Fame tracker – uh, there are three guys right now polling at 70%, uh, all controversial in their own right. You have um, you have Roger Clemens, who's polling at 71%, of course, his connection to steroids. You have Barry Bonds, his connection to steroids, 70.5%. You have Kurt Schilling and his questionable comments that he's made over the last few years. He's polling at 70%. It all depends on whether or not do you think do you think these steroid guys belong in the Hall of Fame? Do you, do you think that they um, – you know, do you think they tainted the game? They tainted the sport. Do you think that? Do you think they belong there? That's that's what the uh, what's going to be talked about. There. Do they? Because this is the sport that banned Shoeless Joe and banned Pete Rose. But I feel like this is a little different. So um, I am curious. Clemens and Bonds are going to get it. I think next. If it's not this year, the next year. The voters have said, you know what? PEDs are not. Everybody was taking PEDs. They were great before they took PEDs. We're just going to put them in. They've already put Ivan Rodriguez in, and he. By all counts, did PDs. Jose Canseco in his book said he did it. So, I whether or not um, they're, they're not going to get in this year, but next year they they, they probably will, and that will be an interesting class with Jeter. And then finally, uh, Kurt Schilling. I know he's had his questionable comments. You may hate him all he wants. Uh, he is one of the great pitchers in the history of the sport. He every big game that you asked for, this guy was there. 01 game seven, any game in a one, oh four with the buddy sock. Every big game, Kurt Schilling made the most of it. And he was clutch, resilient, tough. I think he belongs in there. I think he has over 3,000 strikeouts. Again, not this year. And I don't know why he was held back the years prior. I mean, he didn't have any connection to steroids. So I, I don't know what this is all about. But, you know, regardless, um, that he's, he's been held back all these years. And so now, and as we see, looking here at the MLB Network, Barry Bonds' total has been on the rise. Clemens has been on the rise. Schilling took a dive uh, in like 2017, but it's been on the right. I'm new. Should I sub? Sure, why not? Go ahead. You're going to enjoy the content. And in about 10 minutes, uh, we will be live. Uh, you do what you want, OG player. It's, it's your life. Um, in about 10 minutes, I will be uh, we'll be breaking down the announcements of the men that will be inducted into the – what is it about? It's about sports. Um, this right now we're, um, in, we're talking about who's going to be in the baseball hall of fame, which will come out in about, again, 10 minutes. We'll find out who gets in. So, um, yeah, this, um, this is again, about nine and a half minutes away on MLB network. They will reveal the, the nominees. Uh, they will reveal the inductees into this year's uh, hall of fame. We already had two nominees back, um, earlier in, I guess, December, they announced a couple other players who will be in. 
and uh, Harold Baines and Lee Smith, both questionable decisions. Both guys I thought were really good players, but never I looked at and said, that's a Hall of Famer. Never looked at those guys as players and said, that's I – mean, I wasn't alive when – but looking at their stats, looking at their stats, I never said, I might dislike this content. Okay. Hey, again, it's your life. You do what you want to do. Um, hey, I, again, college basketball talk. What's up? Uh, Baines and Smith were both really good looking at their stats. But I never looked at them and said those guys are Hall of Famers. But the committee put them in. And I will say, if we're going to put Bonds in and we're going to put Clemens in, I have no problem with that. But then we also have to make way for the other steroid guys. we got to put McGuire in. we got to put Sosa in. We've got to put um, Palmero in. we got to put A-Rod in. Manny Ramirez, Gary Sheffield. I feel like if you put one in, is Manny Ramirez a oh, high C sports show? Welcome. This is your first time I've uh, seen you here on the on the live stream. Welcome. Uh, Manny Ramirez is not in the Hall of Fame. I think he should be. Uh, I'm an NC State fan. Oh, gosh. Oh, we got a rival here in the chat. Duke, NC State. Oh, boy. Big game tonight, Duke, Pittsburgh. But we'll see. Uh, well, well <laughs> you know, that's not the main focus right now. But um, that, that will be an interesting game. But, yeah, Manny Ramirez is not in the Hall of Fame, which um, – I, again, if we're going to put steroid guys in, you know, if we're going to say, well, we got to let these guys in, then I feel like all these guys, I subbed. Thank you, OG player. Welcome to the club. I feel like you got to put somebody like Manny Ramirez. Gary Sheffield, you might not like these people, but you know what? If, steroids, if you're saying, all right, I discount steroids, they're Hall of Famers. Sammy Sosa, 600 home runs. Hall of Famer. Manny Ramirez, 500 home runs. Gary Sheffield, 500 home runs. Um, Alex Rodriguez, 600 home runs. David Ortiz, I mean, we're probably putting David Ortiz in. In whenever he's available, um, like two, three years, we're probably putting him in. He's also somebody who's, you know, reportedly did steroids. Um, I mean, Ivan Rodriguez, all accounts that he did steroids. Jose Canseco said it. Uh, thanks, Jose Canseco said in his book, and everybody in his book that he is so far has come out, and everybody that is, you know, there have been like two or three people in his book who've come out and said they did steroids. Every and Yvonne Rodriguez was in that book, and we put him in. So I feel like, what's your excuse? What's your excuse now? So again, Bonds and Clemens aren't. I don't think they're going to get in now, but the others, the other uh, next year, next year will be the year for those guys, along with Kurt Schilling, and then of course Derek Jeter, who that's going to be like ninety five percent, ninety five percent of the vote. He won't be. He won't be a hundred. But I, I will say this: the the, the balloting is a joke right now with the Hall of Fame. I do like it, but there are problems. Again, the whole steroid, do we put them in? Do we not put them in? I can't vote for a guy first ballot. I, that's the argument I hate the most. I can't put a guy in first ballot. Oh, thank you, OG player. I, I hate that argument the most. Oh, I can't put a guy in first ballot. If everybody did that, they'd be off the ballot because you have to get like 10% of the vote. And so if everybody did that, CE is more, I know that. I know CE has more subs than me, but he, he deserves it. He's good, you know, but... um. By 48. Yeah, thank you, OG player, again, for reminding me. Um, everybody, if everybody did that, you wouldn't be allowed on that. So that that whole I can't vote for a guy on the first ballot is stupid. There are so many guys in this history of the league. Roof, Garrick, DiMaggio, Mantle, Ted Williams, Tom Seaver, Ken Griffey Jr., Hank Aaron. I feel like there were so many people that deserved 100%. But idiot sports writers cut them off because. So, yeah, it, it's stupid. So, again, five minutes to go here. They will unveil it here on MLB Network. Um, also, Larry Walker, 65% of the vote as of this moment. Um, he's going to have – he has the problems with Colorado. He's probably not going to get in. So, um, I mean, he was, he was a good player, but, yeah, Colorado, he has that problem with him. Fred McGriff, 39%. Omar Vizquel, 38%. Manny Ramirez, 25%. Again, if we're putting steroid guys in, he's got to put it be in. Scott Rowland, 21 Todd Helton, 17. Billy Wagner, 17. Jeff Kent, 17. Gary Sheffield, 13%. I don't get it. Sammy Sosa, 11. Andrew Jones, 8. Andy Pettit, 6. But then we get like the stupid votes like Michael Young and Lance Berkman and Roy Oswald and Miguel Tejada. And it's a vote. Uh, it's fine. You're good too, Frank. Oh, thank you, C Sports Show. Thank you. Uh, those are the guys I'm like, why are we putting in? What made you, on any circumstance, vote? For Miguel Tejada, he's a fine player, Hall of Famer, Roy Oswald, Lance Berkman, and and the people that have not revealed their vote yet, because we got 44% more. Those are the people that are ashamed to show their face, they're ashamed to put their name on it, and we're going to get some really dumb votes. We're going to get some votes that leave you scratching your head, which is why I'm not too certain that Mariano's going to get 100%, because 
that person that may have voted no may not want to reveal their names. I, I don't want to. I don't want to do it yet. I don't want to get a bunch of. I don't want to get all this scrutiny. I don't want to get all this hatred. So. Just, just, just wait here. I, I'm interested. So, all right, they're um, they're bringing it into the uh, the building here. I guess I know we network there. So yeah, we are um, in four minutes again. They will they will unveil it and we'll we'll react to it live. So if you're watching, tune into MLB Network and we will um, yeah we'll, we'll we'll broadcast uh, the announcement of these uh, of the Baseball Hall of Famers, which I always look forward to. Again, even though I've become I I've, I've not liked the Hall of Fame the way it's been done in the recent years and the voting and all that. I mean, it's still a very historic place. Also, if we're going to put the steroid guys in, Shoeless Joe and Pete Rose should be in as well. Again, I understand it's different, but if, if we're going to you, – you're going to say, oh, steroids, you know. You know that. I, 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 but also, we have no evidence of gambling. Whenever I look up CD Sports, the first thing that comes up is a hater tribute. Yeah, I don't get that. People are weird. Um, when I, the, the one that I don't get with, like, steroid um, – I'm sorry. I'm walking out here. What the heck? Yeah, I don't get it either. Um, whatever. I mean, with, with with gambling, we don't know who, if, if any of these guys voted. Oh, Shoeless Joe, I guess. So Shoeless Joe, if you want to make the argument, well, he betted against his team. All right. But Pete Rose, we have no evidence of that. So, uh, goodness. But Pete Rose, Pete Rose is a terrible person as well. But he's a great he's a great player. I mean, a hit leader. It, it, it's all just. It's all just confusing right now with, with the way the Hall of Fame is, is run. I'd still put those guys in because it's like, well, these are historic players. These are the greatest players that ever played. Like them or not, we're not supposed to say if we like them or not, but these are the greatest players that ever played the game. So we're putting them in. So I, 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 I'm interested to see what's going to happen. So, again, if you're just joining us, welcome. And uh, in about five minutes or even less than that, we will have the Hall of Fame uh, announcement here. And uh, yeah, we'll we'll see who we'll see who gets in. I, I'm 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 interested. I'm curious to see. Again, we know for the names, how close do Bonds, Clemens, and Schilling get? Do they get in? Do they somehow find a way to get in? And again, if they don't get in this year, will they get in next year? So this is this is going to be interesting. So uh, oh boy, all right, commercial break in progress now. Again, just wait. Tell me guys what what do you guys think in the comments? Ten watching. Yeah, it's pretty good. What do you guys think in the comments below? Let me know what you think. Um. As again, we we wait here. This, this uh, who got who got in last year? I'm trying to think who who got in last year. Trevor Hoffman got in. Um, okay, 2018 Hall of Fame. Well, I know Trevor Hoffman got in. Vlad Guerrero got in. Oh, those those are two guys that were. That's right. Jim Tomey got in. Chipper Jones got in. Last year was a good class. Chipper Jones got in. Well deserved. Vlad Guerrero got in. Well deserved. That guy hit everything. Jim Tomey, dominant player. Trevor Hoffman, yeah, I know he never closed the big game, but you know what? He belonged. Um, T-Series or PewDiePie, I really don't care. I mean, it's it's fun to watch these two right now, but I really don't. I really don't have an opinion either way. Um, yeah, 14 people. It's nice. Uh, so, yeah, we were – the announcement will come in a minute. So, tune on MLB Network and then tune in here, and we'll we'll, we'll, we'll break it down together. We'll watch it together. Um, but yeah, last year was a really good class. Edgar Martinez last year had 70%. Mussina had 63%. Clemens, 57 Bonds, 56 Schilling, 51 uh, Larry, Wa Larry Walker is going to get a big increase. Larry Walker is going up 30%. By that logic, he, he'd get in in a year or two. People, people might be ready to put him in. I, I also hate the law that says you can only vote for a certain number of players. Just why? If there's enough people in that you think are Hall of Famers, put them in. I don't get it. I don't understand it. The Baseball Hall of Fame has so many dumb rules, all right? But can't vote for a guy first ballot. You know, you can only vote for a certain number of players. Okay, here we go. So MLB Network is uh, heading back in right now. Showing this nice little montage of all the great players. I might be like 30 seconds behind because I'm not watching on a TV. I'm watching on a computer. On one video, you had 45 likes to zero dislikes. It's amazing. <laughs> My Cavs Warriors video. Uh, it's remarkable. Um, all right. So wait, this is a long, long, long. It's a beautiful montage that MLB Network is showing, but it's a long, drawn out. Oh, Tony Gwynn. Oh, oh that, that made me sad. Why? Cancer, you're the worst. All right, so here we go. They got uh, Greg Amsinger, Verducci, Reynolds. Um, oh, Bob Costas is there. John Schmaltz. Costas, congrats on a great career. Best in the business. Excellent doing the Olympics. Went out quietly. No big ceremony. Just went out. Went out into the night, and yeah, he'll 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 do baseball here still with the 
Alvy Network. He's he's been a great voice there. So again, we wait to see who gets in. Again, there's four people that we're pretty sure of who get in, and then there's three guys on the bubble who uh, who we again worry about. Again, so right now here's the official vote as of this moment. Mariano Rivera, 100% of the vote. These are the votes that have already been tracked and already been tallied. Mariano Rivera, 100%. Um, Edgar Roy Halladay, 93%. Edgar Martinez, 90%. Mike Messina, 81.5%. Roger Clemens, 71%. Barry Bonds, 71%. Kurt Schilling, 70%. Larry Walker, 66%. Those are the guys right now to, uh, to keep an eye on. Oh, boy, this is going to be good. Let's see. All right. Are, are they doing it now? They're viewing it now. Okay, now, now they're just going over. Okay, Mariano Rivera, 652 saves, a five-time World Series champion. That's why I'm wearing this hat. Best closer in all of baseball, and we'll deserve it. Yeah, Roy Halladay, again, a two-time Cy Young winner. 20 wins in three seasons. Uh, passed away tragically last year. Todd Helton, a 316 average, 953. No, Helton, Helton's not getting in. Um, like a good player, but no. Um, Lance Berkman, 366 home runs. Again, good player, no. Yeah, it's the Hall of Fame. It's not the Hall of the Very Good. It's the Hall of Fame. I love Andy Pettit. Twenty four hundred strikeouts, nineteen postseason wins. No, and 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 the HGH thing I think did hurt him. But even if you remove HGH out of it, I don't think he's a Hall of Famer. Roy Oswalt, three point three six career ERA, five top five finishes in the NL Cy Young. Good player, but no. Tejada, Tejada does have the AL MVP. He is a six time All Star. He has that going for him. But I don't. I don't think that's enough. Um. Yeah, again, this is this is a good this is a good list, but I gotta look at who's 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 next year. Then again, you have Edgar Martinez, who's a two-time AL batting title, a four to eighteen career OPS, OBP. He has that stupid double that beat the Yankees in '95. Oh, what a terrible human being he was! Knocked the Yankees out of the playoffs. They came back and won a lot of bunch of World Series after that. Mussina, two hundred and seventy seventy and one fifty three at three point seventy RA, twenty eight hundred strikeouts. Um. Great, great pitcher. Clemens, I mean, we know his stats. Steroids or not, he's seven Cy Youngs, 354 career ends, third most strikeouts, 4,600. Why did he have to do steroids? Um, that really upsets me. I know everybody was doing it, but come on. Barry Bonds, the greatest hitter of all time, seven-time MVP, 762 career home runs. Again, why do you have to do steroids? It's a joke. Kurt Schilling. 216 and 146, a 3.46 ERA. He's had his controversy with uh, with politics. 218 subs, yeah, doing well. Um, and who else? Fred McGriff, good player. But amazing, if he had just seven home runs, if Fred McGriff just had seven more home runs, if he played one more year, he would be in the Hall of Fame because he had 500 home runs. But it's funny how that works. Um, so, yeah. Rivera, Holiday, Martinez, and Mucina all right now. It's part of the it's part of the fame on Oak Player. Yes. Um, so all, all of those guys, great players. And let me let me guys know what you think in the comments, who you think should be in the Hall of Fame, who shouldn't be in the Hall of Fame, who belongs. Is that Peter Gammons? Gosh, he looks so old. Oh, Peter, why? And God bless him. He's a he's a great reporter, but man. Oh, that's unfortunate. Hi, what is this stream? This is the Baseball Hall of Fame live reaction. We're, we're reacting to the announcement of the Baseball Hall of Fame inductees. Whew. All right. Well, so yeah, Peter Gammons right now is just talking. I don't know about what. I can't I can't hear it. So we'll see. Oh boy, this this is gonna be in Joel Sherman's there on MLB Network. I see. Yeah, CE Sports Show is part of the stream. Yeah, this is this is a fun. This is a fun live stream. Oh, mm. curious to see what. Again, that's the thing I want to know because I know who's got uh, the, the questions. Is is Mariano going to get a hundred percent? Which I will. I, I right now I'll bet no. And the other thing, and not that I think, just I think some anonymous person is going to be like, well, and he's going to be anonymous, so we won't know his name because he's gutless and soulless. He's going to say, oh, this guy. Oh, Jason Stark doesn't look good either. Oh, that's frustrating. He's going to say, you know, why this person doesn't belong, blah, blah, blah. But And then how close do Bonds and Clemens and Schilling get? How how interest, How close is that going to be? Game two subs. What are you streaming tonight, uh, CE? Oh, that's right, yes. Hi, Game 5. Yeah, all of CE Sports Chess fans are here. You're welcome. 
Maybe we can get uh, that, that Jack guy who's uh, subscribed to me. I forgot his name, but he's good. Um, look this up now. Ken Rosenthal is now speaking. We're, ju we're just waiting here. Come on. Stop delaying the inevitable. Let's get it on. Let's get it on, baby. Um, do, 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 do. And now, now they're throwing it back to Amzinger. This is riveting play-by-play -play here. Also, I want to give a shout-out to me. Before the season, you remember me, right? I've been here long. Oh, yeah, I don't remember you. Shout out to me. I Before the season, I said Patriots, Rams, Super Bowl. Nailed it. You guys, you only have like 75 videos. Yeah, I'm working my way up. I'm working my way up. Um, all right. Who's the guy? Who's the Jet guy? Uh, Gang Green David. He's the one who has like a 1,000 subscribers. He subscribed to me. He's good. Uh, and yeah, now they have Harold Reynolds. I, I have not watched MLB Network in a long time. I usually don't watch it. I watch like the Yes Network and... I remember when MLB Network debuted. It's 10 years old. How is that? Gosh, time goes so fast. Portland Thunder. Um, uh, oh, that's the game tonight. That's right. They do have hang on, they have Costas on there. This is just this is just slowly delaying the inevitable. Who will join Harold Reigns and uh Harold Baines and, and Lee Smith in this year's Hall of Fame class? Also, uh, in sports news, the Chiefs just fired their defensive coordinator, um, Sutton, deservedly so. The Chiefs had no defense this year. That, that was really frustrating to watch. I hope Edgar gets in. Hi, Justin. I I, th I think you're going to be very happy. I think I think Edgar is getting in. And, uh, as soon as a Yankee fan who one of the worst moments in Yankee history was against Edgar Martinez, he deserves it. One of the best hitters, one of the most for toughest, just scariest hitters you'll ever come you'll ever face. So it will be great to have Mariano and Edgar again. Mariano said the toughest pitcher he ever faced against, the toughest hitter he ever faced against was Edgar Martinez. So it will be great to see um, those two go in together. All right, now Brian Kenny is is speaking. Brian Kenny is now. Yeah, this is the uh, the announcement. Oh wait, a commercial? Why? Why do we need a commercial? Get it over with. I don't care about Johnny Bench's personal life. Just show the darn thing. Get to it. Gosh, they said 6 o'clock. It's 6.10. Hi, college basketball talk. Does anyone know Joey Wagner? Uh, is he from Utah? I think so. Hold on. Joey Wagner. Oh, he's got 4,000 subs. Okay. Yeah, he's good. Okay. I got to check him out. He seems like he's got a pretty good. Um, yeah, he has 4.1. Okay, OG Play. Thank God you're not a Tar Hole fan. Yeah, we got Duke fans in here. We got, oh, big game tonight. Tennessee's number one, right? Good job there for the Vols. Well done. They, they, they've, played, they've played great all year. Thank you again to all the new people who are watching for the first time. Hope you enjoy it. If you, if you, if you, I hope Barry Bonds never gets in. Um, Justin, I think you'll be a little upset about that. I think he gets in next year. I think if you look at the voting tally that he has right now and whether or not you, again, if you think Barry Bonds shouldn't get in because of steroids, I completely get it. We got Pitt tonight. Yes. Um, I'm not again, if you, you don't, if you feel like Barry Bonds shouldn't get in, I get, I completely understand it, but I think he's going to get, regardless of whether or not you think he deserves it or not, he's going to get in next year. I, if it's not this year, it's next year. I think he gets in. Because I think the voters are just – I think they're just they've, – they've had enough of the hypocrisy. They're just like, all right, we're just going to vote you in based on your on your playing career. And you had six – you had – you mean you had all those home runs. So, I mean, and he was – I will say, steroids aside, Barry Bonds was the most ferocious hitter. I know we're talking about Edgar Martinez the same way, but Barry Bonds, he got two pitches every night, and he hit both of them out. <laughs> They'd walk him every single at bat, but the, the the two the two pitches, they they give him two pitches every game, and he hit both of them out for a home run. He was electrifying. Maybe he's not a good person. Did steroids probably, but I mean, again, it all depends. Do you do you care about that or not? We didn't know why the Mariners were in good play, but they kept Felix Hernandez. Uh, I don't know. It's the Mariners. This is the same same organization that gave Cano three hundred million dollars. What a great investment that turned out to be! All the World Series you won with Robbie Cano. I'm assuming Justin's a Mariners fan, and if he is, I apologize that I insulted. No, that contract. No, no, Devin. Uh, you subbed uh, subbed to Frankie. Um, yeah, Justin can do what he wants. Um, 
You don't have to force people to do what they uh, don't want to do. So I, I was bitter about the Robbie Cano. I mean, I wanted to keep Cano, but he he's like, no, I, he, I want a 10-year contract. I want $300 million. And so he goes to – I have no problem. Okay. Um, I was just like, $300 million? No. 10 years? No. It's stupid to give 10-year deals. And this is a Yankee fan who had to endure Alex Rodriguez. Don't give players 10-year deals. And no team should give Harper or Machado a 10-year deal. Give him $30 million, whatever. Don't give him 10 years. No player is deserving of that. Maybe if they're maybe if they're 24 and 25, maybe. But by the time you get these guys, they're like they're like mid they're like 27, 28, 29. Don't do it. Don't. Stupid. All right, here we go. They're back. All right, they're showing Edgar on the screen. They're showing Mariano. Oh boy, this this is this, this is gonna be interesting. Man, oh that 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 was uh, Mariano was such a great, great pitcher. So vaunting. Again, Roy Halliday is just heartbreaking. Um man, I feel I feel so bad for him. I wish I wish he could have seen this, but eh. Again, it's amazing to think of all the great players that have been inducted. Not one of them is 100%. That's a joke. There are so many great, talented players in, in, in baseball. So many vaunted, you know, just tough, awesome players, great home run hitters, great pitchers, and none of them have – 100%? Babe Ruth should have gotten 100%. Lou Gehrig, Mickey Mantle, Joe DiMaggio, all should have gotten 100%. Hank Aaron, Ted Williams. Pitcher, Sandy Koufax. <laughs> we, got a, we got a Pitt, NC State, Duke a battle going on in the comment section. Uh, I'll I go from my comment section. Ugh. This is strange. Uh, they're showing the double again. No, we don't need to see the Edgar Martinez double again. We don't need to see the double again. That still hurts. Lucina. Ah, oh, man! If only he had gotten that perfect game. How many perfect games? The Yankees have had three. They had Larson, they had Wells, and they had Cohn. That's it. Lucina almost had the fourth. I hope we get a perfect game in baseball again. I want to see more perfect games, but managers won't let guys pitch nine innings anymore. Let a guy go. Oh, Mariano, man. He was so young. Oh, they're showing him right now. Ma Ma I, I, I adore Mariano. Paxton. Uh, oh, gosh, the comment. Okay. Oh, we'll see. Yes, we do. No Trey Jones. That's all awesome. All awesome. my friends have is the double. You have And you have Ichiro's hitting 262 hits. Um, Gonzaga's good. Yep, 220. Oh, that's nice. Zion, Paxton, RJ. I, as a Nick fan, I want Zion. Give me Zion, please. Rig the lottery again so we can have Zion. Although with the Knicks luck, Zion's going to, you know, he's going to, his first game there, he's going to tear his ACL and that'll be the end of his career because it's the Knicks. 50 years of utility, 45 years of it. All right. So a long-winded speech has just ended. And now Brian Kenny and Jeff Idelson are going to announce the Hall of Famers. So tune, on, tune in to MLB Network for this one. Because again, I don't have it. I don't. I don't have sound for this right now. So you guys are gonna have to. Uh, <laughs> well, I, I'm watching it. Like, but I don't know if they're like, gonna put the name on the screen or they're gonna, you know, um, and just say it wordly and, and not again not have the name. So, all right, let's see here. Hold on. All right. So yeah, he's speaking now. NC State almost lost to Mercer. Also, Griffey running into the wall. Yes, Griffey. That, that's one of the great. Goodness. Cam Reddish Goat. And don't say 2013. Uh, Duke's had some rough moments, but they've had some great moments too in the last 25 years. <sighs> All right, so they're making the speech now. We will find out who will join, again, Harold Baines and Lee Smith in this year's Baseball Hall of Fame.
All right. All right, so they, all right, they, they, they've gotten out the big envelope. So now, now he speaks. He says stuff. Yay. Oh, Edgar Martinez is in. The first name is Edgar Martinez. Again, maybe the best DH in the history of baseball. If he's not the best, he's up there. That channel, each race is nice, but doesn't win a playoff game. We beat Virginia. Okay. Um, so, again, a great, great hitter. So many memorable moments with, with, with uh, Seattle. Again, it took him way too long. Congratulations, Edgar Martinez. He is in the Baseball Hall of Fame. Um, so, that's, that's one. Who else is in there? All right, so they're showing Edgar Martinez's highlights now. Again, a great, great hitter. Um, let me see this here. Okay. Yeah, that, that stupid double. That stupid double. Goodness gracious. 300 home runs, 2,200 hits, seven-time All-Star, five-time Silver Slugger, two-time AL batting champion, RBI leader in the American League, and now a Hall of Famer. It feels right. It feels right. The second man is Roy Halladay, the late, great Roy Halladay, one of the fiercest pitchers in baseball. Two no-hitters, including one in the postseason, which only Don Larson did, and he has a perfect game. Um, a true start and gone way too soon at the age of 40. Uh, two-time Cy Young winner, two-time wins leader, perfect game, no hitter, eight-time All Star. Welcome to the Hall of Fame, Roy Halladay. Who's next? Is it Mariano or Messina? Let's see. Okay, I see how this is. Uh, we beat FSU. Yeah, <laughs> my comment section is completely cut. They, they, they're talking about Duke and uh, and Pitt in Virginia. All right. I, I, again, I can't see. Okay, is it is it Mariano or is it Messina? It is Mike Messina. He also joins the class of 2019. Moose is loose. 270 wins, a 3.68 ERA, a five-time All-Star, seven-time Gold Glover. Played his entire career in the American League East. Six top ten, top five finishes in the Cy Young. Welcome to the club, Mike Mussina. And then the last one should be Mariano. And if it's not, I will have a, I will riot. Come on, give it to Mariano, my man. Give it to Mariano. Yep, it's in. It's Mariano. And Ma we will find out in a minute or two if it's 100%, but Mariano Rivera is in the Hall of Fame. The greatest closer in the history of baseball. 602 saves. Nobody's better. He closed out, what, four World Series, 98, 99, 2000, and 2009. Electric, lights out. An amazing pitcher. And a lot of great memories with the Yankees. And when you see teams who struggle with bullpens, it's amazing, I think, and teams that struggle with closers, it's amazing that for 20 years, the Yankees had one guy. For and Not 20 years, for 15 years, 16, 17 years, the Yankees had one guy who was so great. Um all the way to the World Series in my dreams only. Randy Johnson, best pitcher. Johnson was a great pitcher. Um, all right. So now, now the guy's talking. And again, I don't know. Oh, it, was it unanimous? Taking a look here in the comments. Mariano Rivera was unanimous for the first time in the history, in the long history of the Baseball Hall of Fame. We have a unanimous recipient and it is Mariano Rivera and again he is without question without question the best 
closer in the history of this sport. Five friend hundred miles won a World Series before the Raiders. It could happen. It could happen. Um, again, again, they're, they're probably were better players. Um, but I can't, you know, again, you have somebody in Mariano Rivera who is without question. You might debate who the best first baseman was or the best third baseman was or the best shortstop was or the best catcher was. There's no debate. There should be no debate who the best closer was. It was Mariano. Year after year after year, the guy delivered in the clutch. He was electric day after day after day. And, again, it's amazing to think. Only one – again, the Yankees only had one closer for 15 years. There's so many teams that have bullpen problems. And the Yankees for 15 years, they always knew who to turn to in the ninth inning. All right, let's uh, – Let's see. Okay, here's the voting. Mariano, 100%. Roy Halladay, 85%. Edgar Martinez, 85%. Mussina, 76%. Wow, a big drop off here. Not what I expected. Kurt Schilling, 61%. Clemens, 59%. Bonds, 59%. Walker, 54%. Vizquel, 43%. McGriff, 40 Wow, so Schilling, Clemens, and Bonds, I all thought were going to be... This is stunning. They all dropped 10 points from what they were projected. They were all projected to be around 70%, and they all had 60. That is stunning to me. They are much further away than we all thought. And for the Barry Bonds, Clemens, Schilling, anti-crowd, they're going to have to wait a little while longer. Larry Walker, oh, wow, this is a bad job by a Baseball Hall of Fame tracker. Walker dropped 10 points. Omar Vizquel, uh, not not so much regret. Manny Ramirez, 23%. Jeff Kent, 18%. Scott Rowland, 17 Billy Wagner, 16%. Uh, 17, Ton Helton, 17, Gary Sheffield, 14, Andy Pettit, 10, Sammy Sosa, 9, uh, 8 and a half, Andrew Jones, 7 and a half. Those are the guys that uh, remain on the ballot. And I wonder if anybody else will. You need 5% to remain. Uh, here's the guys that won't. Michael Young. Who voted for Placido Polanco? Who is the idiot that voted for Placido Polanco? Why? On what planet? Because I know, but I'm trying to Oh, Placido, why? Okay, that's that's what the story. Who voted for Placido Polanco? Okay, I'm I'm googling this now. This is this is a this is a joke. This is an unbelievable, utter joke. What's the stats? He had a hundred home runs. He had twenty one hundred hits. Two time All Star, three time Gold Glove. That's not enough. What's wrong with you people? All right, so, all right, so Mari again. The story here is Mariano is in the Hall of Fame. He's unanimous and he deserves it one hundred percent. Tell me what else what you guys think in the comments. Um, and then we have guys like the other three that we got in thought that should have got in. Edgar got in. Mussina got in. Um, um, Roy Holiday got in posthumously. God bless. Um, and and yeah, now we uh, oh boy. Clemens, Schillings, and Bonds don't get it. Not even close. They're 15% away. I vote for Tim Tebow. Why not? This was supposed to be the year that these guys got a good, strong look into the Hall of Fame. This was going to be the year that Clemens and Schillings and Bonds were going to be like, oh boy, it's not this year, it's next. And nothing, nothing from these guys. The 60%, they dropped off 10 points. That is unbelievable. That's, that's stunning to me. I, I really I really can't believe that. I I, I vote Mo Bamba. I'm gonna be all of him. Um, and then we have so I, I mean if we're gonna and with and with, with Jeter on the ballot next year, they might have to wait a little while longer. And I mean they're running out of time. Who's in the 2020 Baseball Hall of Fame? Um, let's see. Yeah, Jeter. Jeter is going to be on the ballot, and Jeter is Jeter's Jeter's a lock. Jeter's going to get in first ballot. He's not going to be a hundred percent, but he's you know he's going to be darn. He's going to be going darn close. He's going to be like ninety five percent, ninety percent. Those people from Boston are going to be like, no, no, he was terrible. He was overrated. Each row will be sub to college basketball. I don't, I don't sub. Um, I say that respectfully to college basketball talk. I just don't sub to people. That's not me being a jerk. That's just me. Um, you know, just, I just don't, I just don't, I just don't choose to sub to people. Uh, Ichiro, Ichiro will be in next year, and Ichiro is going to get in. 
Um, and again, deservedly so. Great player. Um, 3,000 hits. Oh, no, Ichiro's not in next year. No, Ichiro's, Ichiro's in a couple years. But Ichiro will be in the Hall of Fame. When Ichiro gets the chance, Ichiro will be in. As we as I wait here for to load, um, who, who joins next year? So, yeah, Jeter's going to be in. Um, who else? Um, also, Bobby Abreu, Jason Giambi, Paul Konerko, Cliff Lee, Josh Beckett, Eric Chavez. Um, the only one that I see, maybe Canerco, but the only one who we know is an absolute mortal lock is Jeter. That's the only one that I think all of us can agree is going to be first ballot. Felix, uh, yeah. Um, so, oh boy. So that, that, that that's it right there. Again, a, a well, a well deserving um, Hall of Fame there. Again, of the four people that we got, I can't argue with any of them. Even Messina, I can't argue with him. Um, but the one, the one thing that will be uh, the big, I think the big story coming out of this will be Mariano's hundred percent, Jose Canseco. Uh, no, yeah, I, I mean, yeah, I love Jose Canseco, but gosh, um, the thing that will be talked about will be. It will be uh, the, the fact that, again, that, that Mariano got 100% and the fact that Schilling, Grounds, and Clemens got nowhere near what we thought they would get. We thought that this would be the year that they'd be right up there with 70% and they only get 60. So of the people that didn't of the people that didn't make their vote public, they, they were not on board with these guys. They just, no, nope, no. Nope. Um, and, yeah, the steroids might have something to do with it. Kurt Schilling's controversial comments, those are the things that have something to do with it. But it is fascinating to see how these voters – uh, who's uh, all right? So I'm looking here at 23 guys. Yeah, Braves, Giambi. Um, yeah, Jeter's Jeter's gonna get in. Um, that's the only one. Again, the only one that I see that I look at and I go, maybe he's Canerco. I mean, Giambi. I don't think Bobby Bray was fine. Adam Dunn, fine. Cliff Lee had some moments, but I don't. I don't think it was consistent. Okay, bet bet. Um, when is next live? Um, again, we have bets in the live stream about college basketball. You people don't care about baseball. It's so funny. Uh, the next live stream. Sorry, I gotta answer that. Um, maybe, maybe next week. I, I don't know. It's, I got a couple of videos coming out in the next couple of days. All the players from the women's league will be in the HLF. Um, we, I'll have, I'll have something coming out in the next couple of days. I don't think it'll be a live stream. In terms of the next live stream, maybe next Friday, maybe next Saturday. So, still thinking about it right now. I'm just taking my time, relaxing, see what I'm gonna do, and then I've got to figure out what I'm gonna do post uh, baseball hall, po past football, and how I will move forward going there. But yeah, so we're about to wrap things up here in about a minute, two minutes. Um, the, live, the, the viewers have gone down. So, uh, again, final thoughts. Say what you guys and and make your bets uh, for apparently for Duke and <laughs> NC State. And, oh, gosh, in Michigan. I'll have to do, like, college basketball view, uh, 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 live streams uh, during the tournament. And I think I'm going to do that. So, But, again, for – if you're just joining us, if you're just catching the end of this, you like the Yankees. Oh, come on, dude. 27, okay? 27. All right? Um, yeah, that was a terrible loss to the Red Sox. And, yeah, the Red Sox are probably going to win next year. But still, 27. I'll take that. Um, but overall, um, again, a great class. It's going to be an excellent weekend. Along with Harold Baines and Lee Smith, Mariano gets in 100%. Edgar Martinez – about darn time. Congratulations to him. Roy Halladay, the late Roy Halladay, God rest his soul, and Mike Mussina, all in the 2019 Baseball Hall of Fame class. And so that's it for now. Um, we will be back on, yeah, maybe in the next week. I got, a, I, got a, I got a couple other videos coming out. So if you like what you see, click down there and subscribe and for all the new, all, all my new videos. Um, and, and, yeah, so we'll get ready for, for the Super Bowl in a week and a half. I'll give you my pick. Again, I already picked the Patriots, Rams, preseason. I picked those two teams to get there. So I might know something, or I might just have been completely lucky. Take the latter. And, uh, yeah, we'll see, what, we'll see what else happens in the next week and a half. Any new stories? Any, any uh, You should sell merch. No, I'm not big enough yet. Maybe one day, but, I mean, what am I going to My logo? My logo is stupid. So, uh, but, again, we'll see in the upcoming days. Thank you, guys, again, as always, for watching. Again, if you like what you see, click down there and subscribe. Congrats to this year's. Excellent baseball Hall of Fame class. Mo, Edgar, Halliday, and Lucina. Well deserved. See you guys in Cooperstown. Thank you guys for watching. Take care and go.